your family, your health, our passion. This is Family Practice with Dr. Jeffrey Fox, sponsored by Family Practice Associates of Lexington, PSC. Visit us at fbalex.com and like us on Facebook. Welcome to this episode of Family Practice. Are you or loved ones suffering with anxiety or depression? We're going to talk about treatment. In March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. We're going to talk prevention. And high blood pressure. How high is too high and when to treat it? That and Kentucky Refugee Ministries is here. My first guest tonight is Dr. Latoya Lee. And you are a doctor and nurse practitioner, psychiatric nurse practitioner. Yes, I am. So t tell me what all those letters behind your name mean and, and what you do. <laughs> so um, what it means is that I am a psychiatric nurse practitioner. I'm actually a family psych nurse practitioner. I see ages uh, five until um, geriatrics. And um, I got my doctorate, so that means that I can assess, diagnose, uh, medication man management, and um, do some psychotherapy. When I mentioned anxiety depression with COVID, we've had a lot of that from the disease, but, but life in general can cause some depression. What, what are some symptoms or what makes you think, well, maybe I'm depressed? So a lot of people think of depression as just us laying in the bed all day, crying, but also it could mean that you have decreased motivation. You have that decreased interest in things you like to do, attention and concentration, um, also insomnia. And those are some things that don't, we don't really think about as depression. So uh, depression, th there's ways to treat it. Let's, yes. let's talk about not, are, there, are there ways to treat it without medicines? So the way that I like to practice is I like to look at my patient as a whole. And so, um, and that as goes with my degree in nursing and with um, psychiatry and so there's other ways that we can do it I like to also look at their labs and make sure that they're eating um, well-balanced diet are we getting exercise um, are we sleeping sleeping is a big factor in depression and anxiety and is very much linked and so um, when I do my first assessment that's some of the things that I look at because it could be masked as something else and or it could be as simple as let's fix your sleep okay so Let's say you do all those things, you, you exercise, you eat better, you're still having depression. Does that mean you need a medicine? It could because what it could be is that um, you just have this chemical imbalance and that chemical imbalance could be genetic. And so um, there's key things when you say, oh, I, you know, I'm not having motivation, I'm crying a lot, um, I have no interest, I have no, no pleasure in things. So that tells me that you know, maybe they need that serotonin or maybe they need that dopamine. So it's certain key things that I look for on how we can treat that patient with medication. So when you're picking a medication, are there different kinds of medicine? Yes, and so um, for um, depression, you know, you have your normal SSRIs and that's a lot of people know as, you know, Zoloft or Prozac and then you have your SNRIs, which is your Effexor and your Cymbalta. Um, but right now they're doing a lot of research with dopamine, which is more of your um, mood stabilizers and um, antipsychotics. Now, w when you're really depressed, uh, we don't want the depression to lead to suicide. Or, or just dysfunction. So there's not anything wrong with taking a medicine if you need it. Some people are worried about side effects. Well, I don't want to need a medicine. Yes, yes, and so you, I always look for side effects. So when I start a medication, um, I always do close follow-ups. You'll, you'll come and see me you know, a little bit more frequently until we are at a place where I feel that you're more comfortable. And, and so I'm always looking for those side effects. I want you to feel like you're just taking a vitamin and going about your life. Okay, so de depression's one end of the spectrum, then some ang anxiety, and anxiety can lead to some health problems also. Yes, and sometimes, um, you know, people think that they have stomach issues. That's one of the biggest things. Oh, I have a lot of stomach issues, and um, I've went to the gastro doctor, I've went to my family doctor, and they said there's nothing wrong with me. And so I kind of break it down to, okay, are you feeling overwhelmed? Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling panicked? That's anxiety. and the side effects of that anxiety is we had those stomach issues. Can also have blood pressure, heart rate effect. Exactly. And so if we can get you relaxed more, what's going to happen to your blood pressure? It's going to go down. And because what you're doing is you're so tense. 
it's just making your blood pressure even higher. Now, there's there's non-medication medication to treat anxiety also. Yes, and so, like I said, sleep. Sleep is a very component. It goes hand in hand with anxiety. If you're not sleeping well, you're gonna be more anxious. Um, and then, you know, there's weighted blankets. Um, it also can come through with vitamin deficiencies, which you occurred with your stomach issues. Okay, well, that's great information. So if you're suffering with symptoms of our anxiety or depression, don't hesitate to get treatment. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back.